He knows a lot about the science stuff, Professor Dave explains. Let's get some more practice calculating equilibrium concentrations. So let's look at this equilibrium. We have PCL5 in equilibrium with PCL3 and Cl2. Now, if we are given the fact that the initial concentration of PCL5 is equal to 1.00 molar, and then the initial concentrations of PCL3 and Cl2 are zero, so we have none of that. We're just starting with PCL5 and letting it begin to equilibrate. And we know that the constant, the equilibrium constant for this system is 0.0211. What will be the equilibrium concentrations for each of these three substances? So if this seems confusing, go ahead and check out my tutorial on chemical equilibria. And when you're ready, give it a try. So let's put our equilibrium up here. Let's also find our Kc expression. So we have concentrations of the products on the top and the concentration of that lone reactant on the bottom. And none of them will be raised to any exponent because these are in a one to one to one ratio. All of the coefficients are one. So that will be our equilibrium expression. And now we're going to need to make an ice box here. So let's set this up with initial change and equilibrium. That's our ICE, which is why it's an ice box. And we have our PCL5, PCL3, and Cl2. So let's start by placing our initial concentrations. These are the ones that were given to us. So that's 1.00 for PCL5. And then we have nothing at the start for the two products. Now let's enter our change values. So this is going to require the stoichiometric coefficients. We know that this is gonna move in the forward direction because all we have is reactant and we have no products. So we're gonna use up reactants and we're gonna make products. So in what ratio? Well, for every one PCL5 that reacts, we get one PCL3 and one Cl2. So however much reacts, let's just call it X, we are going to lose X from PCL5 and we will gain X for the two products. If the coefficients were not all one, let's say one of the products had a coefficient of two, then we would have plus two X instead, but here they are all one, so we just have minus X and then plus X and plus X. Now to get the equilibrium values, we just take the initial and the change and add them together. So 1.00 minus X and then the others are zero plus X, so simply X. So let's place these in blue up top just so we have them when we get rid of the ice box. We can remember that our equilibrium values are 1.00 minus X and then X and X because now we are ready to plug the equilibrium values into the equilibrium constant expression. So we have our KC value. That is going to be 0.0211 and then the two products are X and X, and then 1.00 minus X on the bottom for PCL5. So now all we have to do is some algebra. So we will multiply both sides by 1.00 minus X, and then on the right we can take X times X and make that X squared. And then we will simply distribute 0.0211 across that difference, and we get this, and then we move things around to get this quadratic equation. Now when we have a quadratic equation and we wanna solve for x, one method is to use the quadratic formula. So I have a tutorial all about this in my mathematics series if this seems unfamiliar, but as this is basic algebra, we will just summarize what we're gonna do here. There is the quadratic formula. A, B, and C are just the coefficients from our equation. So A equals one because x squared is just one x squared. B is 0.0211 because that is the coefficient on x, on the x term. And C is negative 0.0211 as that is the constant. So when we plug that in and do all of the simplification, we get X as being equal to 0.135 and negative 0.156. Remember that a quadratic equation will always have two solutions. So we need to figure out which one makes sense. 
Well, as it turns out here, only the positive value makes sense because if X were negative, that would mean that PCL5's equilibrium concentration would be greater than how it started and the equilibrium concentrations of the products would be negative, which doesn't make any sense. So we get rid of that negative value and we keep X equals 0 0.135. And now we can find the equilibrium concentrations. PCL5 was 1.00 minus X, so that becomes 0 0.865 molar. And then PCL3 equals X, and so does CL2. So those will both be 0 0.135 molar. And that's how we use an ice box to get equilibrium concentrations. Thanks for watching, guys. Subscribe to my channel for more tutorials. Support me on Patreon so I can keep making content. And as always, feel free to email me, Professor Dave Explains at gmail.com.